guys good morning welcome back to my channel i decided to vlog today it is a wednesday i have some fun things that i'm doing later in the day first off please excuse my nails i have a nail appointment today at 10 a.m so we are getting these taken care of i was like super anxious last week so i picked off too much of my nail polish but i wanted to start off this vlog with some skincare because i have these two products from murad that i've been testing out and really loving lately thank you so much to murad for sponsoring today's video you guys know i am a skincare fanatic so i will never see you wrong when it comes to skincare these are the two products that i've been using this one is their vitamin c glycolic brightening serum and then this one is their vitamin c dark circle corrector eye serum i always talk about how much i love vitamin c as an ingredient in my skincare it has so many benefits. It helps your skin produce more collagen, which is going to help with anti-aging and just evening out your skin texture. It helps with hyperpigmentation and it also just helps really brighten your skin and give it that fresh, healthy, glowing look, which we all want. I sometimes get some uneven texture on my cheeks and I also have some leftover spots from acne, so vitamin C is going to help reduce all of that. So I already cleansed my face this morning so I'm gonna go in with the brightening serum both these products are formulated with vitamin C complex which is a more stable form of vitamin C and they're actually both stabilized with gold which is really really cool I'm just gonna take one pump of this on my hands and just gonna work it into my skin and down my neck you can use this morning and night just make sure if you're using it in the morning to follow up with an SPF. I've tried a lot of vitamin C serums in my lifetime and I really enjoy this one in particular because it has this really lightweight, smooth texture. It just applies to the skin so nicely. It just feels so smooth and incredible and it also doesn't have like a weird smell which a lot of vitamin C serums have. Next going in with the eye serum. So again vitamin C is the perfect ingredient to use around your eye area because it's going to help with anti-aging and also just like brightening so it can help correct dark circles around your eyes. Also looking at the ingredients in this it's formulated with red algae and giant kelp extract which are going to help with like depuffing your eyes. So I really enjoy using this in my morning skincare routine because I feel like it just makes me look and feel more awake. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but just right when you use it, it gives you like that brightening effect, which I love because I definitely need that in the morning right when I wake up. So that is my skin with these two Murad products on it. I love vitamin C. I think everyone should use a vitamin C serum in their skincare routine. And if you guys want to check out these products, they're available at Sephora. I will have them linked in the description box down below. And thank you so much again to Murad for sponsoring today's video. got back from my nail appointment i am obsessed with this color that i got i don't know the name of it i get dip like sns powder so i don't know the name but it's a really really pretty like chocolatey brown for fall i was thinking i actually tried a new nail salon today i have been getting dip lately and i really like it i feel like it's making my nails healthier i did get them cut pretty short today because they were like breaking but they're not perfect by any means, but they're definitely stronger than they were when I would get gel. The only thing is the salon that I used to go to didn't have a very large color selection for dip. So a few of my friends started going to this place in Montclair. It's called Polished if you guys are in the Montclair area. And they have so many colors of dip and they did a really nice job. And it was only $30 for dip manicure, which in New Jersey is like unheard of. So yeah. I just got a package in the mail from Sally Hansen. I guess they collaborated with Sour Patch Kids for these little like fall nail colors. And look at this huge bag of Sour Patch Kids. I have never seen anything like this. It is so heavy. Oh 
oh my god i need my friends to come over so we can eat these because i'm not gonna finish these by myself okay it is now later in the day clearly i just got ready did my makeup i am going into the city today with ingrid we are getting dinner and drinks I'm very excited. My friend Kyla runs a food account on Instagram. You guys should check it out. She like goes to all the best restaurants in New York slash New Jersey. So sometimes she invites us to get food so that we can like take pictures and post and stuff. So there's this restaurant called Sveta, which I've seen on TikTok and Instagram. It's definitely like a hot spot for outdoor dining. And I've been wanting to go to it anyway. And then Kyla asked us to go. So very excited they have these really cute drinks that come in like little pouches that i'm so excited for so should be fun this is my outfit i'm wearing this little top from urban it's just like satin ties on the straps this longer necklace is from misguided and then this one just says mad and it's from ventron chronicles have my jennifer fisher hoops this bracelet is from oma the label jeans are princess polly i have on these little sandals from schutz taking this bag with me which is also from princess polly gonna grab my mask and then i'm ready to go i got the frozen pink lemonade margarita i got the I mean, strawberry, you're right, watermelon. <laughs> if you tag them, you get a free refill. This is the crab toast. Looks really good. The fries look so Truffle good. Fries. And then this is Russian sushi. I, it's like a crepe, but sushi. I'm so confused. Right. But it was really good. Can't wait to try that. Finger <laughs> likes the crepe sushi. The fries are so good. goal for this week is to drink a ton of water so I'm gonna bring my hydro flask with me everywhere mm. went to Trader Joe's and they had all of their fall stuff out so I got these pumpkin waffles to try very exciting and then I also got my favorite La Colombe draft lattes but in the pumpkin spice flavor so very intrigued hi guys it is a new day now i actually just went to zara and got a few things so i thought i would show you what i got i haven't even tried anything on yet so i don't even know if i'm gonna like the stuff that i got but the fitting rooms in the store were closed so i'm just gonna try everything on now and if it doesn't work out i'll return it but i thought i would show you guys a little haul first thing i got is this little black bralette top thing i don't know if you can see better in this lighting but it has kind of like a bustier style outline to it it's a little hard to see the details on camera but this is super cute it fits me really well and i just think this will be a great layering piece to put under like a cardigan or a jacket i've been needing something like this so i'm really excited i think it's super cute and i'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it then i also got these super comfy pants these are like soft really high-waisted loungy pants i definitely see myself lounging around my apartment in these but also i think these would actually be really cute to wear with like a big sweatshirt and sneakers for a casual outfit i'm trying to branch out and wear pants other than jeans this fall and i've been really into just like stretchy kind of like elevated sweatpants like this so i'm really excited they fit me really well and they are so so soft i also got these jeans but i'm gonna be returning them because they are a little too tight around the waist i'm really sad because i love the style of these because they're super long and baggy as you can see i'm 5'7 and i really like the look of long baggy jeans but i feel like most jeans that i try that are like that style are not actually long on me which is weird because i don't consider myself that tall but i saw these and saw how long they looked and thought they would be perfect but i just need to size up i guess so i'm gonna take these back and hopefully they have the next size up that i can try next item that i got is just this tan ribbed long sleeve shirt it's a really good basic it's this really nice stretchy thick 
material and I just really like the square neckline. I think it's super pretty. Just a good like casual basic to wear for fall with jeans. It would look super pretty with a bunch of gold necklaces like layered here because of the really open neckline. So I really, really like this. Good girl. Okay, last thing I have to show you is this little set. I'm obsessed with this. These two items were sold separately and there was also a matching pair of shorts, which I didn't get. Kind of regretting it, honestly. That would have been really cute, but I didn't need to be that extra. It is just this blue fuzzy little crop top. It has these really thin dainty straps. And then I just got the matching cropped cardigan to go over it. I've seen these like two piece shirt and sweater sets and I've always wanted one. Definitely wanna get an Instagram picture in this. I am so obsessed. I am about to cook dinner for myself. I'm making a creamy mushroom and garlic pasta. So I thought I would show you guys the recipe. It's super easy. I used to be convinced that I didn't like mushrooms. I think I must have tried them when I was younger and like not liked them. So I've always just told myself that I don't like mushrooms. But I tried them again a few months ago. And now I'm like obsessed with them. And I literally want mushrooms and everything. So... For this pasta, you will need mushrooms, garlic, sour cream, cream cheese, and heavy whipping cream. And then also butter and parmesan. And then pasta of your choice. Getting this water boiling for the pasta. Cook the mushrooms for about five minutes and then I'm gonna add in the garlic and cook for another two minutes or so. Mm -hmm. 